Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'm so glad that you've taken the time to watch this Training Academy video on creating and uploading custom templates in Mary's case. There are two things to keep in mind as we walk through the process of actually creating your own custom templates. First, template creation is slightly different for Windows versus Mac, but don't worry, I'll explain both. And secondly, anyone in the firm can create and upload a template, but only firm administrators and power users have the power to delete them. Begin at our support documentation archive, accessible at docs.mariscase.com. From here, click on Creating Documents, and then Creating Custom Templates. There are six template creator options to choose from based on your practice area. For this example, I'll be using the General Template Creator. Using the Template Creator, there are a number of different types of fields available and just as many ways to arrange them. While not an exhaustive list, here you will find an overview of some of the available fields. You can think of it sort of as a cheat sheet to where you can find the field you're looking for. You can also use the Word Developer Tools menu to automate your template creation process even further. To enable this toolbar in Mac, click on the Settings icon in the top right of the navigation ribbon. Then click on Ribbon Preferences, scroll down in the window, and make sure that Developer is selected. If you're using Windows, go to File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and from there enable Developer Tools. Once you have this preference saved, you'll notice the Developer menu become available in your ribbon. Here, you can easily insert various types of modules into your document, including checkboxes, combo boxes, and date pickers. Alright, let's talk about inserting fields. This is where the process differs between Windows and Mac, so I'll show you both one at a time. Let's start with Windows. First, make sure you have the Maris Case Custom Template Creator open and create a new Word document. This is the document you're going to use to create your new custom template. It's helpful to arrange the documents side by side on your screen or have one on each monitor if you have a dual monitor set up. Then, under the Maris Case tab in the Template Creator, find and select your desired merge field from the drop down menus. Once you select a field, you'll notice the merge field will now show up in the Template Creator document. From here, you should copy and paste the entire field into the correct place in your new blank document. As you continue to create your new template, all you have to do is repeat this process for all the necessary fields until you have all the merge fields you need in your custom template. Switching back to Mac, we'll start out the same way, with a blank document upon which we can create a template. On Mac, however, we don't really need to have the custom template creator open. Instead, we'll be pulling merge codes from a built-in reference guide template. Like all other built-in templates, this guide will be accessible from any of your cases. Just go to Forms and Templates and search for Merge Field Reference Guide. If it doesn't pop up right away, make sure the search filter you're using is set to Name. Open this document and arrange it next to your new template document. When you're ready, look through the table of contents, which is clickable by the way, to find the field you want to input. Then just highlight, copy, and paste into your new document. Whether you're building a template on Mac or on Windows, it's helpful to have an index of merge codes saved to your computer for easy access. If you're using Windows, save the custom template creator to your hard drive. If you're using Mac, do the same with the merge field reference guide. Now it's time to start building out the body of your template. From here, you can add in entire paragraphs of information, use the merge codes to fill in the blank mid-sentence, and so much more. As you work with your new template, you may also find that you need to adjust the text styling of the merge fields to match that of their context. This is as simple as formatting the text of any other document. First, be sure to select the entire merge field. Next. Right-click on the selected field and select Font to change the font, size, or inline formatting options. Once you've completely finished your template, it's time to upload it. First, save your template in a location on your computer that's easy to remember. Next, navigate to Maris Case and upload the new file using the Upload tool. 
be sure to select Office Template before uploading and your template will be ready to use in just a few seconds. The last step you'll want to take is to test the template in order to verify that your data is merging successfully. To do so, simply locate the template, merge, and be sure that your template has merged the correct data. If you need to make changes, you can just delete the template, which you must be a power user or about to do so, and then make your changes to the Word template, save them, and upload the new template once again. Letterhead is a special merge field that pulls the letterhead you have saved in your firm preferences, which you can access by going to Tools and Settings, then Firm Setup. You must save a Word letterhead to your branch office and have a branch office assigned to the case in order for the letterhead to be pulled in. When creating your letterhead, there's no need to put it in a header or footer section, nor should you do that with the letterhead merge field. Just position them as desired in the document itself for the best results. Before I let you go, here are a few things to keep in mind as you work with templates. First, make sure you're using a consistent style and font for your letterhead and your letter templates. Since Maris has a relationship between contacts and companies, don't forget that you can pull in the contact information by referring to a type of contact. For example, if Susie Allen is an employee at Walmart and she is listed on your case as a defendant, you can pull in Walmart's address information into a letter even if it's not a party on the case by asking for Susie Allen's company address information. Finally, if you want to insert many addresses at once, use the multi-party merge fields to merge contact information for several parties. You can even organize them into columns or print out a series of letters and envelopes all at once. Alright, that concludes our tutorial. Pretty simple, wasn't it? If you have any further questions, feel free to browse through our support resources, our support panel at mariscase.com support, our support documentation archive at docs.mariscase.com, or our insider blog, blog.mariscase.com insider. Otherwise, call into our support line at 510-550-5000. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.